Welcome to Get Database Training guys. You are listening to SAF and this is the first tutorial of this video series. In this video, we are going to learn about the installation of SQL Server 2016 Developer Edition. But before I get started, let me give you a brief overview of what this video covers. We are going to start by looking at the hardware and software requirements for installing SQL Server 2016. We will then download, uh, we'll be then downloading SQL Server 2016 Developer Edition from the Microsoft website. After downloading it, we are going to install and configure. Once we are done with the installation and configuration too, we are going to install SQL Server Management Studio, or you can call it as SSMS, which is a client-side tool and acts as an interface between the user and the database engine. Eventually, I'm going to demonstrate how to connect to database engine using Management Studio. Okay, so these are the hardware and software requirements for installing SQL Server 2016. The first requirement is about the .NET Framework, but if you do not have that on your machine, don't worry about it because SQL Server 2016 setup automatically installs .NET Framework. Second requirement is about the hard disk because SQL Server requires a minimum of 6 GB of available hard disk space. Third requirement is about the memory. 1 GB is the minimum. However, 4 GB of RAM is recommended. Yeah, and you can install SQL Server 2016 only on 64-bit operating systems and uh, with a minimum speed of 1.4 GHz. However, for 2.0 or faster is recommended and uh, SQL Server can be installed on the client operating systems such as Windows 8, 8.1 and 10 and uh, server operating systems such as 2012, 2012 R2 as well as 2016. Alright, so after this let's head to Google and we are now going to see how to download SQL Server 2016 Developer Edition. So type in SQL Server 2016 developer edition download yeah so you'll see the link in your search to download the developer edition yeah click on that link that's from the Microsoft website so you'll be redirected to Microsoft website where you'll see an option to download SQL server developer edition all right so now you probably will be asked to log into your Microsoft account or Hotmail account. Okay, so give your email address. And after that, you need to give your password and click on login. Yeah, so after entering your password, click on signing button and once you are signed in, you'll be redirected to a page where you'll see two links to download the SQL Server 2016 Developer Edition. But I'm going to go with the, the, the latest one, the latest link, which is released on the 16th of November 2016, uh, which is the SQL Server 2016 Developer Edition with Service Pack 1. So now, once I click on that link, I'll come across a page where I'll see two options to download the SQL Server 2016 Developer Edition. The first one is by clicking on this green button here, which will download an ISO image file of 2016. However, you all have got another option to use SQL Server Installer, Okay, by which you can decide which installation to, to choose. Okay, you, if you want to go for the basic one or the custom, or again, you'll see the option to install the ISO image. So I'm going to install SQL Server with the help of SQL Installer. So click on that link and it's gonna start down, downloading. So once the file is downloaded, uh, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna right click and uh, Select the option show in folder. Yeah, so this is my downloads folder where the file is saved. So double click on this file. This is an, an exe file. Yeah, so I'm just gonna allow to run on my machine. So it's getting ready with the developer edition installer. 
there we go i see three options here basic custom and download media so this is the basic installation with the default settings for the installation of sql server and the last uh, and the last option is download download media which is again same as downloading the iso image from from the microsoft website but the second option that i see is for custom okay which means i can have some control over the features i can decide what features i want to install and what features i don't want to install okay so i'm just gonna go with this option so click on custom and then you'll be required uh, to browse and give any specific path so i'm gonna go with the default path and then click on install so now it's gonna take approximately 20 minutes to download the to download this file so until then i'm gonna pause my video and once it's finished downloading i'm gonna resume my video okay so see you in a bit all right guys so with this we have uh, finished the download downloading for sql server 2016 and developer edition now it's extracting files for setup after downloading SQL Server 2016 Developer Edition, we see a new window which comes up with the name SQL Server Installation Center. So this is the window which enables us to perform the installation for SQL Server. So click on installation and there you got the first option which is new SQL Server standalone installation. So click on that. So we're going to click on this option when we want to install a new instance of SQL Server. Okay, so here we are going to install the SQL Server for the first time on our laptop or on our machine. So we are going to select that option. Let's say if you have installed SQL Server already, but you just need to add new features, you got to select the same option once again. All right, so now this is going to start a new window. So once this window is started, you'll see that uh, the developer edition has been selected and there's no product key because a free version. So click on next. So accept all the license terms, check the box and click on next. So it's going to check all the rules to see if all the rules are passing or not. So it has passed all the rules. Now you can also install updates, which is recommended. So if you want to install, just check the box and click on next. So Microsoft is now checking for the updates. It's scanning for product updates. And if there are new updates available, it's gonna download those set of files and then it's gonna extract and then eventually it's going to install those set of files. So because there are no new updates available, it has taken me to the next step where I got to select what features I want to install to this SQL Server database engine, okay? So here, I want to, first of all, I want to install all the features of database engine. And uh, if you want to see what each feature is for, you can click on that feature and you'll see the brief definition on your right side, okay? So actually, I'm going to select all the features because i can refer back to this video when i'm creating videos for analysis and reporting services so i'm going to check all the boxes or i'm going to select this button select all so once we have selected all the features click on next So once we clicked on next, after that, SQL is going to check if we meet all the, if we have got all the prerequisites installed to install these features. Okay, so unfortunately, we, one of the feature has failed because we haven't got the prerequisite for this feature. So which feature is that? 
this the polybase feature and to install that feature we need to install oracle jre7 update okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this on hold for a while and i'm going to my search engine where i'm gonna install java jre download So I'm going to install Java SE runtime environment. Here we go. Here I see all the files. So this is a Windows 64-bit operating system. So I'm going to install this file, exe file. Click on that file. Oh, sorry, I need to accept the licensed license agreement. So check the button and click on the exe file. So this is a prerequisite for polybase so uh, just so you know guys a polybase is a new feature of sql server 2016 which is for querying relational and non-relational databases you guys must be knowing what are relational databases where the data is stored in the form of tables and non-relational databases as in like big data hadoop so that's an example of non-relational database so polybase is a new feature of SQL Server 2016, which queries relational and non-relational databases. So I'm gonna pause this video until the download finishes. So download is about to finish now. Yeah, there we go. It has finished downloading. So I'm going to again right click and go to this folder. So which is the this is the file which gets downloaded. So I'm going to double click on this file to install. So I'll click on yes because I want to run this installation. Click on install. Yeah. This is a very small application, so it won't take much time to download. To install, actually, it won't take much time to install. It's finishing. So with this, we have successfully installed Java and we, we met the prerequisite for installing Polybase feature of SQL Server. So close this. Yeah, close this and head back to the installation center. Yeah, so I'm going to rerun this just to make sure. So this time it has passed all the services, all the features, and it has taken us to the next page. Here, we need to select the, the, the instance. So I'm going to go with the default option. The first type of instance is the default instance. So this is my first server. So I'm gonna go with the default instance. And the default name for the default instance is MS SQL Server. So click on next. So this is the polybase configuration. I'm gonna go with the default settings. So click on next again.
and here it takes us to the server configuration so these are the services which gets installed and these are the accounts which are associated with these services so you can change the startup type if you want to may change it to automatic or manual you can do that but i'm not going to do anything here i want to do it after the installation of this okay so this nether tab which you see as collation where it says by default this is case insensitive sorry this is case insensitive and accent sensitive okay if you want to change to case sensitive or any other language you can certainly do that but i don't want to do this so i'm just going to click on cancel and next so i click on next Yeah, we uh, we need to decide the authentication mode so basically there are two types of authentication modes the first one is the windows authentication where you'll be having one administrator account for the windows but if you want to enable another administrator account you can do that by selecting the mixed mode authentication where you, another administrator account will get enabled and you've got to give password for that administrator account as well but i don't want to add another administrator account and make my database engine less secure so i'm just gonna continue with the default option which is windows authentication mode here you you, you see another tab for directories yeah so you can decide where to store the files here you see another tab for mdb you can decide how many files to create what are the sizes so this is everything which we can do post installation as well so i'm going to leave it for later and uh, file string i'm going to enable this later on if i need it so just go back to the first tab which is server configuration so i have chosen the windows authentication mode and i have to click on add current user yeah so i'm going to add the current user which is self sedicking that's me okay now click on next so which means it has got only one administrator and that's is and that is self sedicking so click on next so this is something which is related to ssis i'm gonna uh, get back to this when when i'll be making when i make videos for ssis tutorials but for now i'm gonna go with the default option click on next oh sorry press ok and click on add user because i need to add the user so click on add user and press next so again use the default option for reporting services click on next and add a new user to distributed replay controller click on next yeah i'm not i'm not going to give any name to this controller name click on next yeah we need to accept to the consent to install microsoft r open yeah click on accept so after accepting this click on next now you will see the, the feature configuration rules or you, you'll see the summary of what features we have selected what configurations we have made so far okay so now click on install so this is going to install the sql server database engine analysis services reporting services and all the features that we have selected during the installation process so i'm going to pause my video until it finished installing and once it finishes installing uh, i'm going to resume it All right, guys, so this brings us to the end of the installation. With this, we have successfully installed all the features and services of SQL Server 2016 Developer Edition. Okay, so now click on close. And when I hit my Windows key to search the applications, scroll down 
and uh, there you'll see a folder for Microsoft SQL Server 2016 click on the folder you'll see all these services which are installed with this installation okay so there's a tool which is SQL Server 2016 configuration manager if you click on that tool it will show you what are the services running which are the services stopped and what are the services are uh, installed on this uh, SQL Server okay so click on SQL Server okay so these are the services which we have installed if you want to start any service all you have to do is just to right click and click on start if you want to stop you have to do the same thing just right click and stop okay and there there's the main database engine survey so this is the main service which is belonging to database engine but this is the only server we have only installed the service for database engine we have installed the front end tool to connect to the database engine so that tool is nothing but our ssms sql server management studio so let's try to download the front end tool the client side tool ssms so with the help of which we'll be able to connect to the database engine so to install that uh, go back to your SQL Server Installation Center and uh, within the installation tab you see an option install SQL Server management tools so click on that click on that so it will take you to the Microsoft website where you will find the link to install SQL Server management studio so yeah if you scroll down here yeah so that you got two versions available download skill server management studio 17.2 and the 17.2 upgrade package so click on any actually i'll be i'm gonna cancel this because it says upgrades so i don't want to upgrade i'm gonna click on the first link download sql server management studio 17.2 so this is a relatively large file which is 783 mb so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause my video again until it finish uh, finishes downloading and once the download is done then i'm going to resume my video and we can see how to install this okay so it has finished downloading ssms setup right click and go to the folder and downloads folder okay so this is our file so here it's our setup file so double click on this setup file so this will install the ssms Yeah, click on yes. Okay, so all we have to do is just to click on install and then it's going to begin installing. It's loading packages and by the time it finishes installing it's gonna be around like 10 minutes so I'm gonna put this on hold I'm gonna pause my video and once it finishes installing I'm gonna get back to you uh, I'm gonna get back on this after loading the packages it has begun the installation okay so guys uh, with this we have successfully installed the microsoft sql server management studio on our local machine okay so in order to, to get started with management studio you would be required to restart your server or, or machine or laptop whatever you're using okay so for now i'm just gonna click on close i'm gonna restart it later but for now i'm gonna click on close yeah and uh, when i go to windows when i hit the windows king in the recently added application you will see the sql server management studio installed okay so click on it so it's going to start a management studio which is a client side tool to connect to the database engine so because we got the management studio installed on our local machine we are now easily able to connect to the database engine if you do not have database engine on your local machine you can also 
uh, connect it uh, remotely. Yeah, so here uh, we go to connect to the database engine. What's our server type? There's a uh, database engine and uh, server name. I'm connecting to my local server, which we have just installed. Uh, you can also drop the list down and browse for more. Expand database engines and you'll see only one engine because we have installed only one database engine on our server. Okay, select that one. If you got your server on some other server, some other machine, different machine, okay, you can click on network servers. Okay, but now because in my case, I got my server database engine installed locally. I'm going to the database engine, select the database engine name, which is safe and press OK. And uh, this is the authentication type is Windows authentication. So I don't have to give any other username and password. I'm going to log in as an administrator. Click on connect. So with this, we have successfully established a connection to our database engine. So this is our database engine, yeah. And the left window that you see is the object explorer, where you will see server and all the server objects like databases, securities, replication, polybase, server objects, all these things, okay. We're going to discuss those objects in my upcoming videos. And uh, if you want to do anything, with the help of graphical user interface as in just for an instance if you want to create a database with the help of graphical user interface you can do it right here just like right click you'll get the option to create new database okay and if you want to do anything with the help of script command line interface then you need to click on new query so a new editor window will open in this panel in the middle panel and this is where you can write your script to create database or tables or any other database object which we are going to see in the upcoming videos okay now if you want to see the version of the sql server that we have installed on locally then you have to execute the statement print at at version just select that and execute you will see the version that we have installed. So that's the Microsoft SQL Server 2016 Service Pack 1, which is installed on the Windows 10 Enterprise Edition. Okay, so that's all for now, guys. And thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please like and share it. And for more videos, subscribe to my channel. Should you have any queries, feel free to email or visit our website, which is www.getdatabasetraining.com. Thank you.